this literally just happened and I pulled over and set up a camera so I could tell you about it. I had a customer. This customer has two computers. Both of them are connected to Wi-Fi using USB wireless adapters. These computers are also wired together using Ethernet. I have them just a direct cable, gigabit Ethernet, static IPs, and one acts as a file server and backup for the other. I know it's a little redundant, but that's the way it's been done for a long time, and this guy's comfortable with that. Well, I get there because he's having problems with the internet, and guess what? His wife is yelling at him. I hear when I walk up to the door, why is Jody here? Why is Jody here? And, oh wow, I mean, do, do you understand how that feels? You walk up to someone's door after they call you because they have a problem. They run a business, okay? They have a problem, and you hear their wife yelling at them, wondering why you're here, as if they've done something really stupid and wrong. Well, I find out later, what happened is, the wife thought that all he needed to do was reboot. I had a problem with the internet, I just rebooted my computer and everything was fine. She thought that's what he had to do. Well, <clears throat> I wouldn't be filming this if that was the case. Anyway, I felt pretty bad for the guy because he got yelled at for calling me. But uh, it was a very simple problem. You see, these two computers have Wi-Fi up to the wireless, and they also have a wire connecting them. One of them runs Windows XP. Don't, don't give me any crap, I know. The other one runs 7, that's why they can still talk. And the one running Windows XP was on the internet. The one running 7 that he mainly uses was not. I did some looking, and it turns out the USB wireless adapter on his 7 machine, toast. The USB adapter on his XP machine, working perfectly fine. They're identical adapters. It was a simple adapter swap. Charged him the on-site fee, not too much money, for coming out and solving the problem. Made sure everything worked and bailed. And that was it. But the point is, the whole point of this discussion, don't assume just because something worked on your computer that it'll work on someone else's. Sometimes there's actually a problem. Sometimes it's not as simple as you might think it is. Your experience is not the same as other people's experiences. And more specifically, your computer or your system or whatever, your stuff is not necessarily the same as other people's stuff. Don't make assumptions. Assumptions are how you end up spending an hour trying to solve a problem the way that worked fine last time, or that worked when I tried it before, and then you find out later, oh, it's this one thing that I would have checked had I not gone down this path of stuff that totally, definitely, surely would work because it's worked for me in the past in this other situation. Never make assumptions. It's okay to have heuristics. It's okay to go, okay, the computer doesn't turn on at all and there's no light. There's a good chance it's a power supply. Let's plug in a power supply and see what happens. It doesn't make sense if, well, it comes on, but the screen is black. Let's put in a power supply. And if you assume that any power problem is the power supply and you're in that situation with a black screen, then when you find out much later, you just needed to pop the RAM out and shove it back in to refresh the connection, that you were wrong and you wasted a bunch of time. Time is money in this business. Make more money by not wasting your time. Don't make assumptions. Thanks for listening. Take care.